Welcome to Zoological World today we will discuss about blanket octopus. However, the trait for which these octopi are named only manifests in females. Males are a fraction of the size of their feminine counterparts, with the latter weighing up to 40,000 times that of the former. That makes the blanket octopus the most dramatically sexually dimorphic animal on the planet, but it's not this cephalopod's only interesting quality. Though sightings of rainbow blanket octopi are often rare, the facts we do know about the four species known as the rainbow octopus reveal a versatile and highly intelligent sea creature capable of surviving in a range of different environments. Incredible Blanket Octopus Facts Little men. Males don't possess the trademark rainbow blanket this octopus is known for, but they're also barely the size of a walnut. In fact, they're so difficult to sight that live masculine specimens weren't even identified in the wild until the early 2000s. Endless Wanderlust Blanket jellyfish are highly nomadic and highly solitary creatures that can adapt to both tropical and subtropical conditions. But they're also known to demonstrate deal vertical migration. Moving from the surface of the water at night to depths exceeding 4 miles barbaric tool use. Their trademark blanket provides an effective method for scaring off predators, but they also demonstrate a more aggressive stance. They're known to rip the arms off of the poisonous man o' war jellyfish and wield them as defensive weapons. Blanket octopus species While there are four identified blanket octopus species, these animals are still so rarely observed that there's little information on what traits distinguish them from one another. Functionally, all members of the genus are known for sharing their dramatic sexual dimorphism as well as the characteristic blanketed webbing. The violent blanket octopus, Tremoctopus violaceus, is the most well-studied of the different species and is the source for most of our information on the genus as a whole. Common Blanket Octopus, Tremoctopus violaceus. The most common species, it's found in most of the major saltwater bodies and has been spotted in waters ranging from Africa to Europe to North America. Gelatinous Blanket Octopus, Tremoctopus gelatus. This species can be found in Madagascar and off the United States southeast coast in Florida's waters. Tremoctopus gracilis. One of the rarer species, it's endemic to the waters surrounding Taiwan. Tremoctopus robsoni. Native to the southwest Pacific, it's most commonly spotted around New Zealand. Blanket octopus appearance Male and female members of the species are so dramatically different as to appear as if they belong to different species entirely. The latter can reach lengths of six feet and possess the beautiful but intimidating blanket that earns them their name, while males are the size of a small nut and have no cape at all. Apart from that sexual dimorphism and the dramatic membrane of flesh, they aren't physiologically that different from other octopus species. They can appear in a wide range of different colors, and they can even change their patterning and coloration to better blend in with their environment like many other octopus species. Blanket octopus distribution, population, and habitat The blanket octopus is rarely seen in the wild, but its distribution seems to be prolific. These cephalopods have been found in the Australian Great Barrier Reef, in the Gulf of Mexico, and in both the Mediterranean Sea and the Indian Ocean. Part of this has to do with their nomadic and solitary behavior, but their ability to adapt to both tropical and subtropical water conditions also helps with that. These octopi exhibit a behavior known as deal vertical migration. They'll spend their evenings at or near the surface of the water, but they can descend as deep as four miles deeper as it grows lighter above. Blanket octopus reproduction and lifespan Since they mostly occupy open waters, the life cycle of the blanket octopus hasn't been observed as much as many other species. Like all cephalopods, the blanket octopus is semelparous. That means that they die shortly after mating. Males typically live for a year or two, while females will live to the age of two or three. Dwarf males use all of their energy trying to find a mate. The third right arm of the male serves as a sexual organ, and they actually detach it from their body and leave it inside the female during mating. They'll die shortly thereafter. The process is at least as exhausting for female blanket octopi. They can carry up to 100,000 eggs until the point that they're ready to hatch. After laying her eggs, a mother octopus will simply stop feeding and quickly die.